All right, guys, with me now, we have got a big guest. It is Robert Brazil, a.k.a. Dr. Doom, also a pro football Hall of Famer, a former Houston Oiler, and he also used to play for Jackson State, which is what we're going to be talking about today. I know I want to hit a little bit on what you were doing last weekend with a big Oilers reunion, so we're going to get to that in a second. But first off, I want to hear about your thoughts on Jackson State this year and especially what Coach Deion Sanders is doing with that program. My thoughts on it is you can't put a finger on the way I feel about Deion right now. This guy could have went anywhere in America to coach football, but he chose my alma mater. And I'm going to tell you a story how before he got the job, he called me, and it was a phone call that I wasn't expecting. I was having breakfast with my parents, and the phone rang. And like everybody knows, you get a signal, Dion Sanderson. I said, hmm. So I put it on speaker, so I got my mom, my dad, my kids all sitting around eating breakfast. I said, Dion, you on speaker. He said, well, good morning, everybody. I want to talk to Hall of Famer 312. I said, well, Dion, I'm here. He said, well, you know, I'm considering taking the job at Jackson State. And uh, I would like to have your support. That's all I want you to do is support me. And before I could answer, my 90-year-old mother said, yes, he will. And everybody at this table will be supporting you, Mr. Sanderson. And we are so happy. So you know when mama say something, everybody else go according to it. But to, to put everything in perspective, Dehan has done things like when I used to sit in those lonesome days when me and Walter would work out and say, how we, what could we do to help bring back Jackson State? We would call each other when he was in Chicago and I was playing for the Houston Oilers. And I said, I don't know what we could do. But Dion, the thoughts that we had, Dion bought him back and just blow them out, blow them out. This guy, you know, you got stars, then you got superstars, then you got gold jackets, then you got another gold jacket. Dion fits in that other category. <laughs> How significant do you think what Coach Dion Sanders is doing for this team is? And more for just the entire community. How significant is what he's doing there? You know, when you are an athlete and you're trying to choose a place to to, to take you to your goal, Dion is that person. You know, he's, he's, he's got the answer for you. If he touch you, you may get blessed and you may get that. But what he has done, what he has done as a, as, as for, the, for the, my team and, and my city, and it, not just for HBC, for Jackson, for, for other people in the HBCU. Dion has really turned the program around. He has really brought recognition, notoriety, and good leadership. I mean, you can't ask for better leadership than Dion Sanders. Yeah. A prime time. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, do you think he is going to be headhunted by some of these Power 5 schools? I know that Auburn's head coaching position is up in the air now. Do you see him going anywhere? True. I think he has already visited Auburn. But I think what a lot of people don't know is that Dion got that HBC, you know, that what they call that experience. You got to go to an agent. I know you're aggy, but if you ever go to Jackson State, you want to say, Mm, I can have some fun here. I feel at home. It's a safe haven now for kids. And I don't want to say you are, you're you're not just a, a, a you know a person at the, the big university. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody gets to know everybody. You, they, they become family to you. This is what the HBCU do for you. They uh, make it safe for you to ask any question, go anywhere, and meet new friends and family members. I love that. What do you think is Jackson State's biggest asset on the field right now? <laughs> We're going to go back to that same person, Prime, <laughs> Coach Prime. Coach Prime, if he, Coach Prime say this, you know, I have been around a lot of good coaches. And when I say that, I'm talking about from the Bob Phillips to the uh, W.C. Garden to Bob Hill, my high school coach, Coach Clark. Dion played the game. He realized what it takes to be somebody, but he's just not preparing you for just football. When I be around him and I go to his meetings and I go see what 
he's checking on these kids. Like, you know, I know he got two sons there, but he also have eight or nine more kids there that he treats them just like should do. And and uh, his other son, they want to know if you're in class. He want to know if you've been to the study hall. He want to know if you had something to eat and what your wants and needs are, and he's going to fulfill them for you. It's a true family over there. It's so, true family. Jackson State is matching up against Texas Southern University this weekend. How do you see these two teams matching up? You know, by numbers, we are both depth-wise great. The only thing that we got different is Coach Prime. Coach Prime. This Coach is Prime. the Coach Prime interview. We, yeah, he, we be going, he, when he touch it, I mean, he has great coaches. I mean, I can't give him all the credit, but he's the center of the credit. The coaching staff that he's got and the coaching staff that he's playing against, uh, it's a little different. You know, I'm me and Dennis Thurman stay in each other here because I'm defense and I'm saying I'm calling the same defense that he's calling and we're making the same. And uh, I saw something last Saturday and people won't realize when you got so much faith in your defensive uh, coaches and the defensive team, you go for fourth and one on your own 20 <laughs> and you don't make it and your defense go out there and turn the ball over in three plays. Yeah. Then. Then block the field goal. So that's that's what I'm saying. When you, when you got that kind of coaching staff, that's what. And these kids are eager. They're never going to, you know, it's no, it's this first blood every time. First blood. It's a little bit of magic right there. So now we're going to go take it back. Tell me about last weekend. You were in Tennessee. You met up with some of your former Oilers teammates. Tell me about that experience. Well, let's give credit where it's due. Amy Adam Scruss. This lady, I call her my sister, my little sister, because when I was uh, being considered as a Hall of Famer and what she did for my family and for me, it's unbelievable. And we talked about the reunion. I hadn't had a reunion, and I came out of football in 84. My last was two years. My first one was two years ago. And what she did this year was unbelievable. I got a chance to meet some all of that I hadn't seen in a long time, some tight that I never seen in, and we we joined this family together. Our family just got whooped. I mean, it grew from 80 to 100 and 180 more guys that, that, that was at this reunion. And to be treated first class, this is a first class organization, and the way she treated us as it's heartwarming. It really wants, I really want to cry because I'm so happy because I never had a reunion. I mean, we did things in, in Houston. Right now I can't say that, but to be back with some of the old guys and to miss some of the old guys, I still miss Curly. I still miss Kenny. still miss all the guys that's passed away. But to go back for that reunion and we continue to have it next year and the next year, it's going to be real, real happy for me. What did that Love You Blue team mean to you? Family, you know, you spend more time with your 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 players than you do with your own family. Uh, I told people after I retired, I've been everything in the world but a father. <laughs> so now I can go be a father. So I was with them because I spend all my time with the players. I mean, to be to be to wanting to be the best and preparing yourself for the best, you got to put the time in. And and being a football player, you can only realize that I know that. You know, I know what you and your mother do. So I know she puts the time in her job. And sometimes you got to go fix dinner, y'all. You got to feed your dad, or you got to do all these other things. And oh, I was always cooking food. dinner for my family. <laughs> no, but it, it's, such, it's such a family thing, man. And to be able to be humble with these guys and to see them, because we all get old. We all get old. You know, I, used to, I said this years ago. It was like an extinct animal. When these allers die, there won't be another aller. But there will be a Tennessee Titan. I don't think you look a day over 40. <laughs> don't you, uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on and talking about this team and this matchup and just what this program has meant to you and especially – talking about Coach Prime. Can't wait to see how it goes this weekend. And thank you so you know, much for joining us. You know, something else before we go, 
you know, you mentioned something. When have you heard of a SWAT coach being considered a, a, a SEC job coach? I have not. That's saying you have never heard of that. So with all these open positions, with the coaching staff that Dion has and him himself, that won't only be him being considered. Other coaches on his coaching staff would be considered for those jobs. For sure. That's why his name is Coach Prime. Coach Prime. Coach Prime. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everybody. That was Robert Brazil, although he doesn't need any introduction. <laughs> thank you, Gary.